Hi there, I'm Mary Bradshaw, Gallery Director and Curator at the Yukon Arts Center. And I'm Garnet Buthing, Art Curator for the Department of Tourism and Culture with Government of Yukon. So Yukon Arts Center and Government of Yukon worked together this past year on Reorg West. So we're here in our shared art vault storage. So this houses the collections of the Yukon Permanent Collection and the Yukon Art Center Collection. Our 2D storage was really hitting capacity. So as you can imagine, between these two art collections, we have a great deal of 2D artwork, which lives on our racks. And they were really at the point of full capacity. And each year we bring in new acquisitions. So the reorg was able to give us, eke us out a little bit more space. My name's Erin Corbett. I work with the art section at UConn Government, and my title is the Visual Arts Project Coordinator. Our collection kind of was hitting about 90% full, and, uh, and we had about a few hundred square feet worth of artwork that we didn't have room for. And so we were looking for options on what to do for 2D artwork. And we kind of got the idea to do something like this with dividers, uh, where artwork could lean against it, and we could be putting, yeah, smaller works. Uh, in and what this basically became is more of like a compact shelving within our 3D compact shelves. These are the components, or like the basic, there's some other stuff, but the basic elements of what we used uh, to create the dividers. This is Ready Rod, it comes in eight foot lengths. Um, it's threaded all the way along, and what we used was a quarter inch. It's a little bit thinner and had some flexibility so that we could like feed it underneath the. Um, the shelf, the bottom shelf. Uh, these are, this is the shelf. We, uh, we figured out how many we needed. We created a template and measured out where the holes needed to go, for one for each rod. Um, and then we used the template and put it on top and would drill through the other shelves so that they were all the same. And then we have plastic tubing. And what this did was we would thread it over the ready rod so that it protected frames from getting scratched from the threads. So it was pretty easy in some ways. Um, what we did was started with putting a bolt on the very bottom of the ready rod and then threading it through the bottom all the way up, all eight feet, and then putting the tubing on. And then we would lower the shelves down and then keep going until we got to the top. Once we got to the top, we secured the ready rod with another bolt. So what we did, once we had the dividers installed into the shelves, uh, we wanted to line the bottoms with carpet so that the frames, again, are sliding against something that's soft, but also inert. Um, and so the carpet, we pre-cut it um, so that there's slits where the dividers are but then connect it at the back so that when we're pulling the artwork in and out, it doesn't slide out with it. We designed it so that it had the three supports so that they were like somewhat close together. So that if, regardless of whether it was like a wider piece or a shorter in width, it would always have two supports to lean against. So the challenges that we kind of faced, um, we thought carpet was a great idea considering we saw it elsewhere, but it sheds, it collects dust, and it frays. So an alternative would be using chloroplast on the bottoms instead of using carpet. The uh, other trouble that we ran into uh, was that when we got to the top after all the shelves were in, the, uh, the ready rod stuck out about six inches and so putting the nut on and trying to thread it all the way down it would have taken way too long and it was just getting way too finicky. So what we did was cut it with the hacksaw but then the threads were gummed up a bit from the hack sauce. So we had to run out and buy a, a file to bring it back down to the manufactured uh, threads and then we could get the nut on. 